Hey everyone, welcome back to this video series on the Postman API tool. Today uh, we are going to talk about a different type of authorization, right? So in the previous videos, I have talked about uh, different types of authorizations like basic auth, better token, or 2.0. And today I'm going to talk about the API key authorization, right? So this is another type of authorization present in Postman where you, um, you can give a key and a value and add it to the query parameters or the headers in order to authorize your API request, okay? Now, as I said, it accepts a key and a value and you can either add to the header or the query parameters completely depends on your API, how it is accepting the authorization, okay? So uh, let's see it uh, with a real-time implementation where I'm going to pick up this API call, which is from the open weather uh, API, right? So I'm going to take this API call where um, I'm getting the weather by city name and it has two query parameters. One is the city name and one is the app ID, which is nothing but your API key, right? So that is how it authorizes your API call. Um, and as I said, it's in the query parameters. So this is the URL. Uh, which has got the city name as Mumbai and then it has got the API key in the API ID, right? So when I construct this get request URL, you will see the query parameters added in the params section uh, with the key and value. So key is, uh, this is the city name, right? And this is the app ID. Okay, very simple uh, get request. Now, if I go to authorization and I want to use the API key authorization, what I can do is I can remove this particular app ID, right, from the URL. Okay, I don't want to pass it in the URL. What I will do is I will select the authorization as API key and I will add the app ID and the value here. Okay, and in the select uh, add to, I will select query parameters because uh, this particular API, it accepts uh, the authorization from the query parameters, right? So for your case, if it is in headers, you can select the headers. Okay, so this is the key and this is the value, right? And if I simply now send this request, I'm going to get the response back. It's the similar response what we were getting earlier. In the param section, if you see the query parameter is still added uh, like we had it before, but previously we uh, had access to edit this value, but now you cannot, right? Uh, or you cannot deselect this value. You can still edit it, but you cannot deselect this value. And if I uh, click on the information, it is saying that query parameter was automatically added, right? Okay, so, uh, this is uh, this is what how it looks when you add a API key authorization from the query parameters, right? So uh, you can see here it is also showing you a link to go to authorization where you have defined your API keys. Okay. So one last thing is um, you should not be passing uh, if you are passing a API value API key value like uh, a static, right? So it is now visible exposed to everyone. Whoever, if you are sharing this um, particular collection with someone in your team, and if you don't want to expose your value, you should be creating an environment variable for this, right? So let's do that. Um, let's create a new environment here, uh, which is called weather. And we will say, this is the key. Okay, and we'll pass the value here and we'll add it okay done so now we can select our environment as weather and we can replace this with a value okay so our value is key and this is showing the key as whatever is getting from the environment variable right so that way uh, it's not exposed directly to the uh, person who is trying to access this request. Okay, just just for um, 
a best practice you can say when you are using postman or you should not be giving the keys directly in the url or in the parameters which you are passing okay so again if i send this it should be the same response right if i see in the params it is showing the app id and the value but in authorization it is showing the key with the uh, environment variable right so let's go and save this so that um, it is saved and that's how you use the api key authorization in postman okay if you like this video please hit the like button um if you have any questions or feedback please leave it in the comment section and see you in the next video thanks for watching goodbye